the Wraith inside of Piano Space doing pretty much exactly the same thing. So it's actually quite amazing how these builds are very much alike, except that Kanata is going to have an economic advantage. He still hasn't had his 12 o'clock spotted. And Piano still hasn't gone for second base. So I think the, just the guys are going for almost absolute mirrors, except that in a minute, a minute or two, Kanata is going to have a higher production. And he's going to have more forces, more Wraiths in the air. And that's most likely going to win the game. Com comp station now coming up for Kanata. Also going to be critical that he's going to have two comp stations up to Piano's one. It's a little bit late, but two, two star posts have been spotted by that Rax, by Piano. Piano actually now going to go out, put some pressure on. Uh, another command center apparently will be built by um, by Kanata at the upper left hand, taking the dual gas there. So he's playing very expansionistic. Piano does have two wraiths right inside of... Uh, the base, but now two raids come in. Raid going on the one scan went off, and the raids. Oh yeah, they managed to take a one raid. The piano is actually going to meet another raid. Just was flying in there, just manages to cloak. Scan goes off, and the Wraith is not going to go down. So one wasted cloak there, maybe. But the Wraiths are going to start attacking the tanks and try to push in two tanks and a couple more vultures, three vultures. But I think the Wraiths will actually help. This is one tank also now for Kanata. Kanata has lesser, less troops, but he has Wraiths helping him. And I honestly think Piano is not going to be able to accomplish anything here. Kanata also has a Wraith instead of Piano's main, just going to be able to continue killing us. He's now actually running away as soon as he saw that comp station running up. But Piano at this point, in serious trouble. He's economically heavily behind economically. He's also getting behind a troop count because he lost those tanks that he was trying to push up and honestly I think that was a desperation move that, you that he really should not have gone for he should have expanded instead he's uh He's trying to take his natural expansion, but at this point he's going to fall behind very heavily economically. I think he built a command center to float off. No, no, never mind. He's actually building it, so it's even longer. He's building his command center and his natural expansion. So far behind economically, lost his force on the ground. Only has a few rates in the air, but not really much else that he can do. Theodore is now flying down to the south by Kanata. And for those of you that are complaining, I apologize that I make insanely irritating clicking sounds occasionally when we're commentating. It's just something that happens. And I can't really help it. It's not really something I can prevent. So I'm going to try my best, but honestly, I don't know if my best is enough because, yeah, sorry. Just live with it, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> not much else I can tell you. But let's see. Kanata moving downwards has a lot of rays going around. Trying to pick off the SV. Yeah, decided not to. Come on, pick off the SV. There are Goliaths there, but a lot of rays coming in. Not are not going to pick off the SV. They do cloak, but there's a scan going up. But now Kanata actually going to go for it. Has those rays inside, attacking the rays that uh, Piano has. Most likely going to lose his own rays, but he's also moving down south with a couple of tanks and a marine. And I'm not quite sure if Piano has much in the way to defend this. There's one single Goliath that is actually being forced to attack the wraiths. Now the wraith of Piano is going to go down. Two tanks still attacking. There are being mines being laid out Piano, so that's one saving grace. Okay, now scan going off. Now the mines go away. Now this command center not being built anymore because SCV went off to try to re uh, repair this Goliath. Goliath goes down, and at this point, I don't really see a way for Piano to come back into this. He's going to try to push these tanks out of his base, but even if that happens, reinforcements, more wraiths on the way for Kanata, and he's going to be able to outproduce Piano pretty much in every single way. He has his dual gas up at this point. He has his uh, mineral only natural. He's going to be on three gases now, and he's going to be able to produce a mass amount of troops. Piano did manage to put down the command center, but he's not really going to be able to do it do much with it at all. No Toach in there to help him support. He has Wraith and a Goliath inside of his main, so he's trying to rebuild forces. But now the race actually killing the eBay as it was floating away to try to save itself. More tanks and forces on the way coming down south and Piano at this point in a horrible position. Two star push producing and only one single factory. Finally second factory coming down for Kanata. But Kanata just absolutely dominating this game here. Uh, Piano in a horrible position. Goliath trying to come up but it's going to go down. Scans going off from both players on all sides. But everything Piano has gets lost so now this command center is threatened there are SCVs trying to mine now going to force to engage the tanks going to run off there actually SCVs in the mix for Kanata as well a lot more SCVs for Piano so he's going to try to take out these tanks trying to surround kills one tank now going to try to surround the second tank there are raids also attacking in the meanwhile also SCVs on the ground more raids coming to kill the SCVs the tank might go down yeah tank does indeed go down but the SCVs so much damage and more tanks coming in Few, one more raid from Piano tries to kill the raids now the scan goes off and at this point, not really much. Th that one race is going to escape with its life, most likely. But Kanata, in such an absolute advantage, just continue putting on a pressure on Piano and Piano. Just nothing really much else to do. Kanata now actually taking his own natural expansion. Piano apparently has something there at the far left, possibly in a CV. I'm not quite sure. Possibly thinking of putting on a base. Forced to cancel his command center before it went down. There's siege now, and Piano knows he's lost this. 
He is not even playing anymore, just looking at what's happening. He's trying to come to terms with the fact that he's lost at this point, not only much else. Just uh, clicking with his mouse at that point. <laughs> not really, yeah. He knows he's lost this, he doesn't really, can't really go for anything. So, yeah, GG coming in from Piano. Yeah, so, yeah, promising play from him in round 32, but simply can't stand up to Kanata's TVT. Mind you, Kanata's TVT hasn't been, you know, the dominant TVT it used to be, but still good enough to beat Piano, so... Yeah. One more bite from my epic grammar for that epic commentary. SMT. So, yeah. Kanata of all people. Moving out to round of eight. Who would have thought? Oh well. Did you guys ranching out? Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for listening. Damn, my friend's good. <laughs>